We are at a water symposium where we're looking at water as a sacred substance. We're looking at the politics and economics of water, what it is, the contamination of water worldwide, and the issues surrounding it from top to bottom. In that light, we have one of the most renowned doctors who have come out publicly about the subject of water and is the author of two most interesting books. Dr. Mangan Jolich is the author of Your Body's Many Cries for Water and most recently, Water Cures, Drugs Kill, How Water Cured Incurable Diseases. His premise is a startling one and one that has utterly rocked the medical community. We're very glad to have the doctor on with us today because what he has to tell us can save countries billions and literally trillions of dollars and help to create a much healthier world. Doctor, so nice to have you on with us. Thank you, Mitch. Mitchell. Absolutely. It's now, ple my pleasure to be on the air with you. Oh, good. I'm very glad. And talk to your audience. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> well, I've been waiting to hear from you for a while because well, actually I've made reference to your work before. I hope they sharpen their ears because <laughs> what I have to say is very yeah. important to them. Now, what is the basis of your initial inquiry into this? Well. About 22 years ago, I gave a, two glasses of water to a person who was labeled uh, with a disease called the peptic ulcer disease, and he was under excruciating pain. Two persons carried him to me, and uh, I had nothing to give him at that moment of the evening. I gave him two glasses of water, and the pain diminished, his pain diminished, and within eight minutes it disappeared. And that is when the world of medicine changed. For you. For everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I realize that water has medicinal properties, the lack of which we have never understood. As you know, I'm a trained medical doctor. I was trained at St. Mary's Hospital Medical School of London University. I had the honor and the privilege of being selected as one of the uh, resident doctors of my own university. And then I had the extreme honor of uh, being one of the last students of Sir Alexander Fleming who discovered penicillin. Mm. I'm telling you this uh, to yes. let you know that I was brought up in scientific environment of medicine. So when I discovered that water has medicinal properties, I realized that this uh, topic was never taught to me at the school and I became curious. So I continued to research the medicinal properties of water and two year, in two years and seven months, I treated over 3,000 people with peptic ulcer disease with water successfully. And I made a report on, on this discovery, and it was published as the main editorial of the Journal of Clinical Gastroenterology in June of 1983. And the mm -hmm. New York Times picked up the article and uh, commented on it, and it was syndicated all over the world, and so. announced to the world that water had medicinal properties. I was hoping that someone would pick up and take off from there in the in the medical community. Mm -hmm. Medical community, and I was surprised when I discovered that nothing was happening. So I became a little bit uh, upset with my colleagues in medicine because this is a tremendous discovery to realize that water is a medication uh, but no one is li looking at it or acting on it but let me just ask about that study uh, where you got 3,000 positive cures yes how, how many were the number of people in the study oh there were lots of people uh, 3,000 cures was every single one who tried the uh, water got cured oh so 3,000 of 3,000 got the cure yes 